Here we demonstrate how the steam separator works. Our setup features an inlet with a glass body so we can see what's coming in, a glass bodied steam separator, which is drained by a steam trap, then a discharge flapper valve on the discharge side of the steam separator. On the inlet, you can see steam and water both coming into the inlet side of the steam separator. In some steam systems, wet steam is generated or developed during distribution. This wet steam contains condensate as either a stream or tiny entrained droplets that reduce thermal efficiency and can cause water hammer or corrode and erode equipment. It can also reduce heat transfer rates in heat exchange components. To remove condensate before it reaches end use equipment, we use a steam separator. The separator is designed to create a vortex that uses centrifugal action to force dense material, condensate and solids, to the outside wall of the separator. In the middle of the vortex, clean dry steam is left to leave the separator, while condensate is drained through the steam trap at the bottom. Here we see the discharge as the little flapper shows that we do have flow going through it. You can see that all condensate is gone and we now have clean dry steam to be fed to equipment. That's the job of a steam separator, to remove condensate and dirt using centrifugal action. Because of its simple structure, pressure loss is minimized, enabling clean, dry steam to be fed to your system at maximum thermal efficiency. They are capable of removing 99% of particulate entrainment 10 microns and larger over a wide range of flows. To learn more about this or other equipment, contact the team at Campbell CV.